All right, you guys, welcome back to some more Ley Line. Last episode, we had quite a bit going on between Neko and Koga. Finally dropped an I love you of sorts. Uh, they had their first, second, third, fourth, and maybe fifth kiss. Uh, they just wanted to kiss a lot, apparently. And um, Fuhito left us as per usual. Uh, she's supposed to be the night nurse, and then she left uh, and didn't treat any of our wounds. So that doesn't surprise me, but it makes me like her character even less than I already did. Anyways, I'm curious to see where the rest of uh, Neko's route's gonna go and how it plays out. There, it, it does seem like they're hinting at, like, there's gonna be, like, this separation between the Day Realm and the Night Realm. Uh, they keep implying that that could happen, so I'm wondering if it's going to. Uh, just a little bit of maybe foreshadowing there. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and see how the rest of this episode plays out. As usual, Neko blushes when I call her name and hold her hand. Yeah, she is a pretty shy girl at times. She still tells me that she wants my underwear. I can't understand what she considers embarrassing or not embarrassing. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of the sorts of like, if you're in a relationship and that's kind of your thing, maybe you like to wear each other's clothes. But I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Uh, I think that's up to you as a couple to decide. I mean, clearly if one person's uncomfortable with it, don't do it. But uh, maybe, maybe Koga's in that category. We'll have to see. However, she seems to be enjoying the time we spend together, so every day she'll come searching for me uh, when it's time to meet up. I want to be with her too, so I look for her as well, but she always finds me first. Yeah, she's pretty determined. Oh. Hey, Mibu-san. Another full day of work, huh? Isn't this how the last episode started? We we had a conversation with these two, and then he felt ignored, and now he's getting ignored again. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, Shizuka-chan. It's okay, you'll live, my guy. Well, good. Then I'm doing my job. Yeah. Yeah. Murakuma always lashes out at me over everything. I mean, it's true, he does kind of... Add fuel to the fire, to say the least. I didn't start anything, I just said hello. Oh, he's always yelling at about minor things. I'm not trying to ignore him. It's just that I get the feeling he'll get angry about something if I greet him. I'm pretty sure we could say, like, hello normally, and he would still get mad at us. Ah, uh, but I should probably thank him. Hey, she's a good chan. Hey, what do you mean? I think that's a cute nickname. I have to talk to you about something, so come. <laughs> oh. I just like how we talk to him like a dog. Like, oh, come here. Come. Come. Hard to do that here. Just come with me. Why is it the guy is always trying to pick a fight with me? Yeah, this is actually something that's probably rather tame. It's not trying to go against him. I'm guessing we're going to ask him for maybe some relationship advice. I have no idea. At least that I wanted to talk to him. Like I said, I have to talk to you about something. Because I'm assuming it's that because he doesn't want to talk in front of Mibu. But I don't know. No, you do because I have to talk to you. Yeah, well, I have some work for you to do. Come over here. <laughs> She's just ditching him. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I feel like best friends can really give each other shit. So that kind of makes sense that we probably are considered best friends. I mean, I'm closer to him than I am Kotaro. Like, let's be honest. I'm not sure about that. Both Murakuma and I surprised and at a loss for words. So that's how he sees us. Or that's how she sees us. I can't say I like that much. In any case, she said that I was fine with it. Uh, she was fine with it, so I'll have him come with me for a bit. Anyways, I'll be borrowing Murokumo for a while. I'll give him back soon. <laughs> I like how we just treat him like an object or like a dog. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to borrow him for a bit. I'll, I'll bring him back like he's a small child. Just a quick little chat. Come here, buddy. Best friend, old pal. Yeah, let's go talk. Drag the unbudging Murakuma by the arm in order to forcefully relocate ourselves. His face is full of displeasure from having moved away from where amiibo san is. Yeah, that's gonna feel bad when I go into the next route and steal his girl. Didn't expect him to be this uncooperative. <laughs> you don't have to be so angry. 
話あるならとっとと終わらせろよ。ああ、yes, it's just something I wanted to let you know. なんだよ。Gonna steal your girl later. Well, f u r i a and I are dating now. We're going out with each other now. <laughs> I like how we felt the need to clarify what that means. Huh? Was I was already more hoax in the go, my reaching in a yats than I. Yes, we're a man of much integrity. Oh, shut up. I figured that I should at least thank you.、Uh, I regret doing this now. I really want to wipe that wide grin off his face, too. It bugged me if I hadn't told him about it, though. Damn it. Ma, damat the yori mashka. Na, toshi ueno yuko to a key to kumundaro. Listen to your seniors, what? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, that's what I'd say, too. Akara. もうちょっと俺のことを先輩として敬えっつーの I mean, respect is earned, you know? You don't just give it out. It's, a fun, it's fun teasing him and I get a kick out of it whenever he lashes back. Yeah, I noticed. Considering all that, it's hard to treat him with respect. <laughs> I, I, I guess so. <laughs> Gosh, she is happy. She is one happy woman. She's like snug as a bug in a rug. I don't know. I respect that Tsubaki is an authoritative figure. Like, she's like, hey, you're running in the halls. That's against the rules. Like, she says it like that, but she says it nicely. And then、uh, when she apologizes, she says, don't worry too much about it. Like, it's not like a big deal that you're doing it. It's like, But I want you to be aware of it. Like, hey, it's, it is against the rules. I don't want you doing it, but like, it's not the end of the world. You know, I'm not like trying to like threaten you, right? I feel like she's a very good authoritative figure in that sense. Upholds the rules, but like, isn't like too overbearing, you know? Doesn't go too far. You have something important to do. Wow, shocker. He's talking with his bestie. Yeah, I probably should have mentioned that before she ran over there excited. That's okay, though. While I'm talking to Murakuma, Neko runs over to me, beaming. Falling behind her is Mibu-san. She must have ran into Mibu-san first. We're having a men's chat here. Oh, um, I was just telling him about how we're dating. So, so, Waza was a whole cook started it. So, I mean, yeah, everyone's gonna find out eventually. <laughs> It's like we're really a couple, ah,、oh, but we actually are. Yeah, that's the point. I do wonder why he pulled aside Shizuka rather than just telling him and Mibu at the same time. I mean, maybe he was going to do it individually. I mean, I could see that, but I don't know. I think he could have just told them both at once. Gosh, she's, she's going crazy. I'm telling you guys, she's getting ideas. I mean, I don't think that level of ele elevation will like last forever. Or elation? Not elevation, elation. Right? That's where like your mood is lifted, right?、Uh, I don't think that'll last forever, but I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's an. This is a visual novel. I mean, characters can be absolutely crazy. That's why there's so many yandere's. That's why I assume when I see a pink haired girl that it, she's a yandere. Like, it, it's just, it makes sense. She's walking in there, though her cheeks are still red. And she learned from Rito about tying somebody up, so she just didn't go through with it yet because she doesn't think she can get away with it. But she's ha she has it in her mind, guys. Just keep, the, just keep that in your mind, okay? Given her personality, that's to be expected. I have no intention of telling her that, though, and it's not like it matters. No. Hey, hey, I thought we were buddies, okay? What? What's that supposed to mean? 
Hey, okay, well, that's my decision to make, buddy. Okay. Can't say anything in response. I mean, he was pretty indecisive. It took him a while, but if he hadn't lectured me about it, who knows how long I would have leached off of Neko's kindness. Damn, this is frustrating. Hey, I'm not a bad guy, okay? Give me some slack. Hi! Oh, mm, okay, I'm the one for you. Okay, please stop doing the very creepy laughing. <laughs> See, it's cute when Subaki does it, but when, like, she does that. <laughs> I don't know. She's, like, lost in her own world. Well, uh. This isn't good. I'm getting embarrassed by them talking about us. Being a couple is this embarrassing, huh? I think I'm starting to blush, too. Why would you say that? Why? I, I know... I know characters in these games always say say things, but why, why would you say that? Why? I don't understand. Why? Why would you do this to me? Yeah, Vitra has every right to be like this. You got him all riled up, Neko. Why would you do that? <laughs> uh, this is so great, and I'll tell you why. With the context of us being, like, chained together, or um, linked together with Ushio, with the handcuffs, I think this just makes it better. It just makes us seem like the hugest pervs. Uh, I mean, this reflects more on Neko than me, but... I don't know. I think it's great. We're just always getting ourselves in these very weird, kinky, perverted situations. I will say they're pretty good, too. Like, th these kind of, I don't know, kinky situations aren't just like, oh, her skirt flipped up, you know, and I saw her panties. Like, th these are like genuine, like, could happen in real life kind of situations, possibly, you know? That's great! <laughs> Subaki's like, I'm going to take that idea. She's going to give me your pants right now. <laughs> uh, do you even realize what you're saying? What's wrong with you? I don't know. Is Neko kind of like a tomboy? I feel like she's very girly girl. So it, I, I feel like wearing a guy's underwear is more of a tomboy thing. I mean, I definitely had a cousin who wore men's underwear growing up. Uh, and now... She would never do that, but she just kind of shared. I asked for his underwear. Shit, they're looking at me like I'm someone sketchy now. <laughs> yeah, I like how she's the one saying something weird, but we're the ones who get the shit for it. I really don't uh, want to stay here any longer. Let's go over there. Sorry, we'll be leaving now. <laughs> uh, uh, I wish I wish this moment was saved in time for when we go into Mibu's route and like she just remembers this. <laughs> we're just gonna grab Neko by the hand and run away. As much as I'm concerned about the stares that the other two are giving us, looking back, it isn't exactly an option. Ah, there we go. We're rubbing off on Chizuka. Have you noticed that? He's like, hmm, I could get some entertainment out of this. I think it would be cool if in this route... Sorry, I got cut off by her. How rude, Neko. I'm, I'm the one who clicked the button. So, uh, I think it would be cool as if in the routes that we like don't get together with like Mibu or like other characters that maybe have someone who's interested in them that they got together. I think that would be nice. I've always liked games where like your best friend character or whatever like doesn't end up alone. Usually like they're always talking about like wanting girls and they're like girl crazy and we're always the ones that end up in the relationship. So I always liked when they would like give a side character like somebody to be with you know if you don't end up with them instead. I don't know of a lot of examples of that happening. I'm trying to think. Uh, where are we going? Somewhere far enough that they can't see us. Also. What? 
What? Why did she say thanks? Uh, no talking about underwear in front of others. No, that's weird. That's embarrassing. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he gives in. I mean, I don't think that's like a out there request. I mean, it's certainly weird because you guys just started dating. But I think once you get comfortable, I think you can ask stuff like that if you're really into it, you know? I can't tell if I'm actually getting through to her or not. Yeah, I really, I really doubt you are. I, I don't think you're getting through to her whatsoever. Ah, oh, the day just goes by like that. Because now that we're dating someone who lives at night, you know, we don't, we don't care about the daytime. Oh, Furuyama-san. I wonder if Ushio's pissed about this. Because now, you know, Furuya's always in here with us. <laughs> I like how she just thinks this instead of saying it. あ、今ちょっと出てるから。すぐ戻るって言ってたよ。待ってても Neko's like, okay, see you later. <laughs> Just goes back to her own thoughts. No. Am I the only one that thinks Neko's maybe possibly a little too obsessed with him? I mean, I know they're like adolescents and then they're young and they're in love, right? I don't know. She's she's very into him. I feel like that would like be a turn off for me. Because it's like you want someone to like you, but you don't want someone to like you so much that like they try to follow you into the bathroom. You know, like that's kind of weird. Oh, so they meet you know. Please don't lick it. I, I know what you're thinking. Don't do it. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me that you did that. Uh, you know, Kotaro, this is one moment I'll actually, like, be on the same wave wavelength as you, because I I would be wanting the same thing. Like, what are you doing? <sighs> and, like, I'm not saying that some of these things she does are, like, out there or too weird. I just think her level of excitement about doing those things is weird. Like, she is, like, very obsessed with him. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I guess I'm just not as young and in love anymore, so I don't feel that way. I don't feel like those intense emotions. I mean, I'm happily married, and I, I'm stable. <laughs> like, she's about to have an orgasm just over the scent of his on his blazer <laughs> like can you calm down just slightly all the characters in this are very eccentric freaking neko and especially the principal <sighs> on finishing my business and returning to the bureau office i see furuya embracing my blazer amar is looking at me with a difficult expression on his face whereas muko isn't even glancing my way very accurate for the characters <laughs> definitely what i would picture them doing what are you doing? <laughs> no more importantly, what are you? <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> I mean, 
の匂い古賀くんの匂いもっと感じたい Echo, you are, you are a handful. I've said that before and I'll say it again. What was that supposed to mean? So if she sees something of mine, she'll automatically go and do something like that to it. Now I know the reason behind Omaru's expression why Muko's ignoring me. <laughs> it's her. Well, duh. You have me, so there's no need to do that to my blazer. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Damn, okay, Michiru. I like it. Do you want a hug? Come here. All right, guys, I want you to get out your phone, get out your notepad, whatever you write on, and, like, write this down, okay? This is Riz right here. This is, like, and th this is coming from someone who's married. This is how you, like, you get the girls, okay? Take notes. <laughs> and if you're wondering what to label this note, write Chad 101, okay? And what we're learning here from the master of Riz can't accept this. Why is she fine with hugging my blazer but not me? I'm thoroughly confused as to what she finds embarrassing. Not not much. Unless it's holding hands. I mean, to be fair though, the holding hands is pretty lewd. I mean, we have to remember that, right guys? You know, Ushio, I actually agree with you for once. I actually, I actually agree. This should not be done publicly. Is it bothering your tea time? You know it's bad when this guy is saying it's bad, okay? Yeah, you better be. A look of contempt appears on Muko's face, annoyed that we haven't heeded her numerous warnings. It's true that this is a place for us to be fooling around. I do feel bad about it, but I don't think Neko's gonna listen, which will only make things even worse. Yeah, I mean, you guys have plenty of places around the campus. You guys could be, like, doing whatever. Oh gosh, we get it from her view. I feel like we already get enough of her view. <laughs> She's going to Rito again. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <sighs> don't go to Rito. I'm glad Rito doesn't have a route because from what she the the advice she gave to Neko was scary, okay? It was kind of scary. Yes, I I remember that conversation pretty well. So that the <laughs> oh no. Um, she didn't clarify that she didn't use the advice that she gave her before. So you know what's gonna happen. You know she's about to assume that it was from the advice she gave her. Yep. <laughs> Rito. Rito, for being so smart, you are so dumb. Oh gosh. Okay, let's let's think for a second. What is Rito gonna say? Your first thought would be sex, right? Like she's gonna say something like that. I think it's gonna be something about breeding. I think it's gonna be about mating. It's like, okay, now that you're in a relationship. Just start, start getting at it, you know? I think she's gonna say something along those lines. We'll see. Well, that was certainly better than I thought she was gonna say it. I thought she was gonna say it in a way that, like, was a lot more perverted. Um, but yeah, that, that makes sense. Yep. I mean, yes, but no, <laughs> you don't have to right after you start dating make a child. I would actually say you should wait a long time. Like, don't don't rush into having kids if you don't have to, or at least I mean, if you want to, if if you both want to, go for it, right? 
Um, I mean, I definitely had a kid with my wife pretty early on in our relationship, but not not a few days. Oh my gosh, she's actually considering it. I hate this conversation. Abort, abort. <laughs> I didn't know that, apparently. It's good to have a girl first. I had a girl first, so I'll take it. I mean, not that I'm... I don't know if my wife and I will have another kid. We've kind of talked about it. We're like, yeah, but one's good. <laughs> one's good. One's a handful. <laughs> Um, no. No, you were not. Don't tell her that she was. Don't lie to her. Uh. How do I feel? Uh, real quick before the conversation about parenting ends. You guys want to see my cool shirt? I got a cool dad shirt. Look. Oh frick, it's it's blurring out. No. There we go. Can you guys kinda see it? There we go. It's freaking Bandit from Bluey. I love that show. That that show is so wholesome. It's great. Like I put it on for my daughter, but I'm pretty sure I watch it more than she does. <laughs> I like it a lot. Um he, he's just a good dad figure. I mean I, I admire Bandit a lot. But uh I got this shirt. I got a, a matching one of Chili, which is the mom in the show. Uh, for my wife and and then our daughter has like bluey pajamas. It's it's really cute. Ah, it's my other favorite girl. Hi, Kumiko. Yeah, she's been pretty happy a lot lately. I mean, not, not that I'm like shitting on her for being happy, you know, but I just think she's a little obsessive at times. <laughs> <laughs> and she does this creepy laugh. <laughs> really, I didn't notice. Didn't notice at all. Oh, <laughs> Yes, the one and only. あ、前に言ってた好きな人って古賀くんなんだ。はい。おお、良かったじゃない。おめでとうございます。はい。ありがとうございます。二人にお話を聞いてもらったおかげです。いや、あまり役に立つ話はしてなかったと思うけど。それ
Yeah, don't do that, because, I mean, unless you want to follow Rito's advice about having a baby, don't start holding hands, you know, you might get pregnant. Oh, I can name you a lot of things the couples do. Neko, you are too innocent. You are way too innocent. This tells her friends. Yeah, I talked to another girl. She said I should just make a baby. <laughs> oh, where can we go? She's like, what the hell? I think it's a good idea. <laughs> oh. You all are too much. Oh my gosh, no. She's just getting this idea reinforced. It's the dumbest idea. If this if this route doesn't end with them being like young parents, then I don't know where this is going. <laughs> Kumiko's like, what the hell are you telling her to do? ちゃん。ちょっと待って、二人とも。どうしたの、久美ちゃん。ちょっと待って、なんかいろいろ順番飛ばしてる。Kind of, <sighs> I mean, it's nice that uh, they have this cute little picture so we can imagine what that would look like. That's a, a little chapel and a white wedding. That's a very American looking wedding. Irreversible act. Oh no. Hina! No, you've lost her. She's gone. It's up in the clouds. Yeah, she's more lost than when she was in that other fantasy world. I like how they're just like, okay, let's just leave. <laughs> she just like gets out of her days like, hey, where did they go? My vision's blurry. I'm tired. My eyes are out of focus and I can't make out what the blackboard says. I'm hit by an intense wave of drowsiness once the teacher starts talking. The reason why is obvious even to me. I haven't been getting much sleep lately. When there aren't any problems for the Bureau to solve at night, we're allowed to leave early and go back to the dorms to sleep. As it turns out, Muko's been quickly taking care of everything and doing just that. <sighs> Right when I'm about to yawn loudly again, the teacher looks my way. I rush to close my gaping mouth and, mouth and suppress the yawn. I haven't been sleeping much lately in order to spend more time with Neko. When it's time for me to go back to the dorms, I stay behind instead and try to find her as quickly as possible. As a result, I've been losing sleep and I really want to be together with her. Besides, there's a chance we might suddenly never see each other again. See, they keep saying it and it makes me think that it's going to happen. I really wish I, uh, she'd stop saying outrageous things whenever we see each other, though. She's probably going to say something ridiculous again today. As much as I'm looking forward to seeing her, just thinking about that gives me a headache. Gosh, you know, maybe Neko is Didi. I didn't think about that. Neko reminds me of Didi. They both say, like, they just burst out things randomly. Um, I don't know. Maybe a little bit. I'm not saying she's completely like Didi by any means, but... Uh, I see, I see that resemblance there. Just thinking about that gives me a headache. Mm. Don't blame you. Hey, look. 
it's Neko again in the office. I'm overjoyed, but I can't say the same about Muko. I'm sure she understands by now. Seems like Muko's got a lot on her mind. However, she doesn't that she doesn't stop Neko from coming here. I should really thank her for that sometime. I'm sure she's concerned about the fact that Neko and I are from two different worlds, too. Hmm? Uh, is it something weird? What is it? No, no, don't, no. I feel like I know what you're about to say. Don't say it, please. Special slightly fidgets as she stares at me. She's about to say something outrageous again, isn't she? Uh, like when she said she wanted my underwear. I don't want her to do something like that here, though. Well, I won't know for sure until I... No, this is your mistake. You're allowing it. It's gonna happen. It's something I can help with. I'm all ears. Don't say that. No. No. Take it back. Take it back. I don't have a reason not to hear you out. Okay, that's fine, but hear her out somewhere else that's not near here. Abort. This is this is a mistake. After hearing my response, she looks as though she's about to say something, then she basically has a serious expression of her face. I don't feel like Neko has a lot of common sense. I feel like that's what she's lacking. I, I feel so sorry for everyone else in the room right now. And she's happy about it. She's happy about saying something so stupid in front of everybody. <laughs> He's broken. He's a broken man. I hear the sound of something dropping from Muko's direction. <laughs> Start all looking towards her and see that she spilled the tea. She didn't drink it. She is spreading all over the desk with a topple teacup. Uh, I've never seen her so surprised before. That's great. It's probably because of what Neko said. If I was wide open and just wide eyed and surprised too. <laughs> She's just gonna leave. As <laughs> if nothing happened, she pushes the cup back in place, wipes off the desk, then pours herself a new cup. But isn't she adding way too much sugar? Uh, uh, Anyone could see that this is an excessive amount. Muka doesn't say anything and merely turns away from Ibarra. She continues to add more sugar. <laughs> Having finished sweetening her tea, she begins drinking it as usual. She's acting like all this never happened. I mean, that's the only way she could remain sane. Ibarra is frozen stiff, unable to say anything. Yep, it's plain as day that they're disturbed. On the other hand, Neko is looking at me with her eyes sparkling. I'm sure she is. Does she understand what's going on? Uh, you guys are like... Not that old. <laughs> uh, even though you're... Oh, uh, actually, my bad. You, I'm sorry. You guys are 18. You guys can have a kid, you know? Because every, every character in these games has to be 18, right? They wouldn't get a route otherwise. Because they, they, they can't have lewd scenes if they're underage. Or... Of course not. It's just they're in school, you know. <sighs> well, not exactly. That's not it either. I can't tell if she understands what she, uh, she's saying. Desperate for help, I glance at Muko and Amaro, but they're both looking away. Um, you know. Don't say that so loudly. <laughs> no. Babies are, um, they're brought by storks. <laughs> then you should know not to ask him for that. She's, she's not 100% sure. I'm not sure about the details, but I think that's not how it works. She knew about that. If she won't fall for that, then what can I do? I'm completely out of ideas. <laughs> That's what I'd say to in this situation. Uh, 
いいのか Guys, let me just say, this is why sex education is important. Because people need to know how you have babies. And they need to know what you do to make babies. And they need to know how to avoid making babies. Because you don't want to be、uh, a young teenage parent. Don't do that. That's not a good idea.、Uh, babies are a lot of work. And I can guarantee you, if you haven't even finished school yet, that you probably are not old enough to have a child. I mean, you can have one and it can work out fine, right? Like, I'm not saying anything against people who do that, but I'm just, I'm not encouraging it, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Don't, if you can avoid it, don't do it, okay?、Uh, it's very hard to have a child, and once you do, your life changes completely.、Uh, some, in some ways for the better, but in a lot of ways for the worse.、Uh, you get a lot less sleep,、uh, you have to think of somebody else before yourself a lot of the time, and. Life just gets a lot harder. I mean, if you're a real masochist and you like having a challenge, sure. But、uh, have a kid when you're ready and you have the resources to provide for the kid, you know, don't do n t d o it when you're young. <laughs> like, th like this young, okay? Like if you're like 19, 20 and you're like ready, sure.、Uh, I just, I would highly discourage at, at this age since they're still in school. I don't know how that would work. <laughs> Anyways,、uh, rant aside about the importance of sexual education, let's see what happens. Just be quiet for a bit, okay? Stop. Don't say another word. For now, we need to get out of here. I'm just imagining him just running out of the room with her, and then everyone else is thinking, oh, we're prick, they're like rushing off to make a baby. <laughs> I haven't figured out that much. I take her hand and drag her outside. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, this is. I can't even remember how many times I've forcefully dragged her out of the office. It, it's, it's been too many. I'm getting a serious feeling of deja vu. Anyways, how much of what she said does she understand? Her face turns red as I stare at her intently. So, about what you were saying earlier, you know, the thing you just said in front of everybody that was kind of embarrassing. Yeah, that. Do you realize what you're saying? I don't know. Maybe, maybe because of my parenting style, I would never withhold something like that from my child if they were that age. I'm like. As soon as you start going through puberty or whatever, I'm gonna, you're gonna know. Or, or at least like maybe 12 or 13. But by 12 or 13, you're going to know how that works, okay? You're gonna know what that is, because like you don't, you don't want to get in trouble with that, okay? And I just remember once I went into middle school, I heard all about stuff like that, anyways. So, I mean, generally、uh, here in the United States, like schools teach that.、Um, Provided, like, you don't opt out of it. I think parents can opt their kids out of it.、Uh, unless, like, the way they're teaching it is really bad, I feel like you should have your child learn that.、Uh, or you should have taught it to them. But, you know, that's just me. They're not brought by storks. That's true. Seems like the only thing she knows about is, is that.、Uh, she has no clue about the concrete details.、Uh, we're gonna have to teach the birds and bees to.、Um, A young, a young lady. What would be the best way to explain it to her? Physically teaching? Um, no, you should not physically teach her how to have a baby. <laughs> that would be dangerous, because that would mean you'd probably have a baby. That's out of the question, but if not, then how? You, you know, you can literally just talk about this, right? Like, it's not hard to teach, it's pretty simple. Starters, how much do you really know what happens? Just tell me how much you know. Even a little is fine. 
とおおおお互いにはは裸になるのは知ってます Um Yes, not necessarily. This 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 is an awkward awkward video, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Hug each other. Um, sure. Yeah. You don't know. She really is clueless. I was afraid that there'd be all these wrong ideas in her head from who knows where, but thankfully she's not. That's not the case. Uh, I can't feel relieved just yet, though. She said that she wanted a baby despite knowing nothing about how one is made. And yet you still want to make a baby. <laughs> oh, as if embarrassed by her own words, her face is flushed and she's trembling as she looks at me. I don't know, I have a feeling Neko was pretty sheltered. I, I'm really getting that impression. Her parents probably were less than, than happy to teach her about those kind of things and teach her about intimacy, relationships. Um, I'm just gonna say it, sex, um, romance, how, how old that works. Cause you, you really have to teach about that. Cause like a relationship isn't just sex. Like there's intimacy, there's this romance, there's building a relationship between each other, communication. There, there's a lot of things that go into that. So like if a lot of that, you kind of learn as you go, but I think that's why it's good to kind of date and not just like marry the first person you meet. A lot of people are against that and that's why, because you get a very limited view of how relationships and things like that work rather than you could jump relationship to relationship and learn uh, more about those kind of things. I'm, I'm not really saying that you can't be happy just marrying or, or you know, staying with the first person you meet. Uh, I just think you kind of learn stuff about intimacy and relationships. You kind of learn what you like and what you don't like. You learn more about partners. There's just a lot that goes in relationships. It's not something that just happens overnight. I know a lot of people like just when they're dating, they just seem like they kind of get along and things go great. But you got to realize there's a point where after you get over this kind of infatuation stage, which I think Neko's still kind of in right now. Like, I do think, like, she probably is in love with him, but a lot of that's infatuation, too. And you gotta, like, make sure you're strong enough to last after that. Because uh, once everything's not cupcakes and rainbows, relationships are a lot harder, and you don't just necessarily get along all the time, right? Like, there's, there's things you disagree on, you're different people, right? You have to learn how to come together and uh, enjoy each other's company and learn to do things maybe you didn't like doing before. Uh, there's a lot that goes into it. I just Neko is clearly very naive when it comes to a lot of this stuff. I mean, yeah, even though you know what's gonna happen, it still gets embarrassing being naked in front of someone for the first time, for sure. Oh no, you can definitely still make a baby if you're embarrassed. It's, it's, it, there doesn't have to even be love involved to make a baby, okay? Uh, if you, it, I'm sure most of the people watching me, I would at least hope know how that works. Uh, if, if I'm the one teaching you, go, go talk to your parents, okay? <laughs> go talk to someone else. Don't let me be the one to teach you. <laughs> Uh, I mean, being confident certainly helps, not really necessarily in making a baby, but just in having a good experience. Why am I playing this game, guys? Why am I playing this? Do I, do I have to keep playing this? No, you don't... No, don't do that. What are you thinking about? <laughs> Don't play it off like you were thinking about something weird. Your face was saying you were thinking about... Exactly! That's what I'm saying. Then tell me what's on your mind.
Yeah, what kind of training? No, don't, don't train. <laughs> you don't need to train that. No way in hell. Nobody would want to let other people see their girlfriend naked. Yes, that's not good. Uh, <laughs> this route is frustrating to me. <laughs> I'll teach you everything you need to know. Is Michiru, like, well-versed in dating? Has he date dated before? Better than you doing something crazy. I mean, he definitely seems to have more common sense than her. <laughs> Still blushing, she chuckles embarrassingly. Embarrassedly. She's cute, but she can also be a handful. And before getting naked, don't you, don't you need to work on holding hands first? Probably. I want to hold your hand while walking together. Let's slowly work on conquering your shyness, alright? Want to hold hands then? Yeah, remember, remember what it's like to be young and hold someone's hand and you're like all embarrassed and shy about it? Like, oh, everyone's gonna see us holding hands. It's like, yeah, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Just, just enjoy it, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Just, just enjoy it, especially while you're young, because as you get older, it's, it's not as special, you know? Like, you don't get that, like, oh, you know, excitement from it. I mean, you... It, it goes from excitement to just being reassured that, like, the person you love is right by your side, you know? Like, that that's that's kind of where hand-holding goes in a relationship. Like, you just kind of get reassured, and it, it's nice to know that uh, the person you like and, and love is next to you. You know, it's reassuring. Uh, calm down, let's go for a stroll like this. Neko glances around restlessly just because I'm holding her hand with her fingers intertwined. As I thought, we have to deal with this first. I hope the she forgets about the whole baby business while we're working on this, but that's probably wishful thinking. Very much so. Very, very wishful thinking here. It's been a few days since the start of her training. Sounds weird. Sounds a little kinky, like everything else is in this game. Anyways, though, I think we'll end it here. Uh, this route's definitely a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, but that's okay. I know this game's supposed to be around, like, 20 hours or so. So, we'll have to see. I mean, if it takes me longer than that, it takes me longer than that. Who cares? Uh, but we're going to end it here. And hopefully we'll get further into the relationship. Hopefully they don't start making babies, uh, is all I'm going to say. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to leave it at that. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.